Evening News reporter Will Lewis joins us live in Northwest Charlotte. And Will, you spoke with Duke Energy Crews today. What exactly happened with these outages and is everything back to normal? Well, let's go ahead and talk with getting things back to normal, Derek. And according to Duke Energy Crews, they say everyone who lost power over the weekend has been restored as long as there's no additional damage to their homes. Now, for what happened, Duke Energy moved energy from one part of the grid to the other, causing some temporary outages over the weekend. But those temporary outages prevented a lot more people from losing power this holiday weekend. Duke Energy crews are finally getting a break after working hours to keep the holiday lights on. Strong winds and storms knocking out power to a lot of customers. On Friday, close to 200,000 customers were in the dark. The number went down to 40,000, but the cold temperatures remained. That extreme cold uh, resulted in some challenges across the system in being able to meet customer energy needs. Uh, and that resulted in the need to take a, a very unusual and emergency step of, of taking some controlled temporary outages across the system. Those outages took out power to plenty more customers, but the company says it was done with precision as a group of workers watched grid performance while others repaired lines. The system will look for where it has needs for energy and then it will look for where it could take a temporary outage to free up that energy to serve other customers so that we don't have more outages. The final ask made by Duke Energy officials was to have customers conserve energy, turn down heat, and not run appliances. The move was successful on Sunday night, and Duke workers think that will be the last time the request is made in connection to this storm. Unfortunately, you know, the need occurred fairly quickly. So uh, that was why we couldn't do as much proactive communication as we typically would. I know that was frustrating for some customers, but we were really working as quickly as we could to, to keep the grid protected and maintain reliability. Yeah, and they say the grid should be reliable now that those temperatures will go up as the week goes on. And Duke says that now that the energy grid is reliable, they will take a look at what happened during those power outages and use those for future reference. We're live in Charlotte. Will Lewis, Queen City News. Thank you, Will. Right now,